Good morning guys. This is Jimmy from Primer is Best and uh, if you've been watching my videos in yesterday's video, I think it would be yesterday's video, I put this tag on my truck, this 66 Chevy truck on the back. I live in East Tennessee and this is a Tennessee plate. But we changed, I bought this tag, it was a 68. We've kind of dig done some MacGyvering, I guess you could say, kind of misleading a little bit. And it kind of looks like 66. I had it on the truck. Uh, I took it off because I thought uh, I might kind of brighten up the letters a little bit, in particular this word joint. And I think I forgot to mention in the video something happened. Uh, maybe I got a phone call or something. But anyway, whatever, I can't remember anything. But uh, joint is like a if you if you google it uh joint means uh it's a particular vehicle that what it, in in essence what it means is the particular vehicle takes produce from the farmer and takes it to uh you know the next step of the or, you know phase of whatever you know like the grocery store or you know to the whatever i don't know i'm trying to come up with examples there but that's what joint means so it's really uh, for farmers and you know specifically for farmers that uh, you know are having their produce their goods from their farm moved from one place to another it's called joint so that's what this tag is it's actually a farmer's tag but uh you know it's joint now we my wife and I kind of changed this to a six on the end this letter I'm sorry, this number here, remember it was an 8. This tag, uh, I thought, I, 66 tags for Tennessee are kind of hard to come by, and when you find them, they're somewhat expensive, so I had this 68. If you watch my other YouTube channel, Man on a Budget, you've seen where we bought this tag, 68. I went ahead and got it, and I'm glad I did. So now, it pretty much looks like a 66. You know, as long as you keep your, hold on. Okay, that's my wife, Miss P.I.B., saying she made it to her destination. Her and her friend go walking in the mornings in the cool of the day. Uh, good day to walk, isn't it? Especially if you got good knees. What I'm saying is, as long as you keep your original tag that the, that the, courthouse or your county has issued for your truck or car as long as you keep it you know in 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 your possession so if you get pulled over you know and you can present that to them it's this is not against the law it's legal i've asked uh police people and i've asked the lady the, that issued me the tag and she said oh it's you can drive it like that as long as you keep your original registration and everything you're good no problems and I've been doing it for years. I've had a bunch of, let me say it again. I've had a bunch of old cars and old trucks, like 57s and 62s and 67s and all this stuff. And, uh, you know, I'd run the old plates, you know, original plates. Anyway, my thing today is we already put Penetrol on this. I might put another coat, but I don't know. If you watched the other video, you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> I didn't have any green paint, so I've got this, these these four cans. I'm trying to see which one matches the best. I believe that to be too dark. This, I don't know, this might work. I don't know. Maybe. This one is... This is the color I used on my uh, 68 Chevy truck I had. Uh, that we turned it into a forestry truck. And I think it's now in Sweden. Believe it or not. I, I had a truck that we rattle can painted and fixed it up. You know, it looked just like a forestry truck. And uh, it wound up in Sweden. And they sent me pictures of it. Now that's kind of dark, isn't it? Anyway, I had a leftover can of that. That's kind of dark, too. 
So I don't know. I might start out with this uh this paint here. I guess I got it at a yard sale. It's gloss finish, uh whatever, home shades. I'm gonna spray some into this because I don't have an applicator. What in the heck did I do with it? Here it is. Got me a Q-tip and an old Dixie paper cut. I'm gonna spray some green down in here and maybe just kind of go over the letters, especially these letters. They kind of kind of make them pop a little bit, you know. And uh, we'll just see what it looks like. So hang on, guys. Okay, guys, I thought I'd just better go ahead and show you what it looks like now before I start painting. I, I, lo I love this look. I just want to brighten up a little bit of the letters, especially this. But this is it. We'll look at it revisited here in just a minute, okay? Hang in there. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to show you a little bit about what I'm doing. Just a little. I've already done some of it. Just trying to get used to this. Hang on guys. Okay, I had to get rid of some of that excess. Just kind of going over. Just a little bit here and there. Remember, I don't want it to look pretty. I like using Q-tips cause you can, you can throw them away. No big deal. See that joint? You can kind of see it better now. Remember, like, like on this truck, uh, you know, they would have painted the whole plate white and then, uh, you know, put the green or whatever color they're putting on. So you see a little bit of white here and there. That's perfect. See on that three? A little, little white here and there. I'm just trying to make it pop just a little. Maybe if I can. I think I about lost my... Anyway, you see what I'm doing? So I'll get back with you in a minute, guys. I gotta reload. Hang on. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna call that done. <laughs> Y'all probably can't tell no difference. And if you're not in the patina style, you wouldn't understand. But I've had some really nice vehicles in my life. Really nice. That I mean didn't have a scratch on them. Beautiful. And uh I didn't have near as much fun with them as I do with patina style. You, you, you can't mess it up. You're just helping it. So uh, I'm let this dry for a few minutes. Then I'm going to put it back on the truck. So let me clean up this mess. And then we'll get into another mess, okay? Hang in there, guys. Oh, let me know what you think. You can actually read the word joint now, okay? See you all in a bit. Okay, guys, I thought I'd better show you this before I put my tag on. It just occurred to me. Uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know my buddy Tim Dixon uh, bought this tag for me. He had, well, he bought several tags, and he gave one to me because I was bragging on his truck. Uh, I, well, all his trucks, but that that cream colored looks like a, looks like left turn bill, my truck left turn bill, that same color, but it's a long bed with a camper top lowered down man that's a sharp truck and uh anyway I had this tag on it here uh it's from uh, american pickers i believe anyway it's still in the plastic i haven't took it off and uh, it says tennessee anyway i thought well i, I don't want to be just like tim's tag even though there's nothing wrong with it I, I, but i thought well what can i what can I name this truck? So, I got several ideas, and I thought, well, what if I just named it Nose Picker? Nose Picker. Is that too, is that too obnoxious? Where's the, I don't know. There's other, there's other things we could name it. There's a Cotton Picker. Uh, what was it? I had a bunch of names now that I got y'all on video and I can't think but a nose picker cotton picker oh my goodness I had a whole bunch I should have wrote them down anyway what do y'all think about a nose picker is it nose picker dang it makes me so mad when I think of something and then I forget it I'm getting more 
I'm getting worse and worse about that. But anyway, I, I'm not. I'm gonna let y'all kind of choose. Right now, I got nose. Like I said, I could put cotton picker, you know, uh, banjo picker, guitar picker, you know, whatever. You know, Tennessee's noted for, uh, you know, uh, country music. You know, I could put guitar picker, but I, I honestly don't think it would match the truck. But you know. Nose picker doesn't either, but I've never heard anybody call their truck that nose picker. So, I don't know. It might look kind of cool. I don't know. I'm just trying to make the truck look like it's... I'm trying to make it look like it's a survivor. I haven't put my patina on... My, excuse me. My patina on it yet. Still got a lot to do. I'm just picking at it. Every, every chance I get, I pick at this truck. Picker. I just not got it. <laughs> Oh, maybe y'all did too. I don't know. I'm not. The, I'm not the brightest bulb in the room. But uh, nose pickers. I never. I have never heard anybody call their vehicle nose picker. Could be there's a hundred thousand of them out there, but me, myself, and I have never heard it. So uh, for the time being, I guess I'll put this up here just because I don't want to lose this tag. I lost it once already. Y'all know I lose things easily. But uh, like I said, this is still in the plastic, and uh, I, I just gonna poke some holes in here and maybe you know put it on the truck just just so I know uh, where the tag is at. I can take this off, you know, once we decide on a name. But uh, I I want something with you know the last word being picker, you know, like I said, banjo picker, uh, guitar picker. Uh, Cotton picker, you know, cotton picker. That's kind of farm-like, isn't it? Cotton picker. That's what my, that's what my folks always done when they were growing up with my grandparents. Pick cotton. So maybe cotton picker's a good name. That'd be kind of a, kind of a neat name to have too. Cotton picker. Cause uh, that's what my folks done. Hey, I might go with it. I don't know. Y'all think, think hard. And let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel Primer is Best. My name's Jimmy. Uh, uh, you can also send name suggestions through uh, my Instagram, uh, Primer is Best, and Facebook, Primer is Best. And, you know, just give me your uh, suggestions, and uh, we'll pick one. My wife and I, and I'll try to include y'all too, okay? But for the meantime, just like I said, so I don't lose this tag, I'm going to stick this thing up here. <laughs> oh, I can't remember nothing. Hang in there guys, we'll see what it all looks like. Okay guys, I got the back tag on finally. Uh, man, I'll tell you what. These, uh, I had to get a hacksaw. These bolts were in this bumper. And I had to get a hacksaw and saw them bump them. They wouldn't come off. I mean, they're just rusted to 63, remember, so... My goodness, I was, I was having a, I was having a heck of a time. I don't know where the other part went, but anyway, I'll have to find it here in a minute. But anyway, I got these options here. Can y'all see this? Made in Detroit by idiots. That's kind of cool, isn't it? I've had this on. I used to have this on my '57 GMC truck. Pretty cool tag, I think. And uh, I've got this right here, Honest Charlie Powered. Of course, it's all wore out. It was on a wrecked truck and I got it. I know I told y'all that story before. The wind's blowing again, guys. Some guy wrecked this truck and it was on the back of a trailer. And I said, can I have that tag? And he said, get it. So I climbed up in the back of the truck and took that tag off. It's just cool, isn't it? That's an old tag, all, all beat up. It might kind of go good with this truck. There's not too much left at the bottom, but like I said, it's involved in a wreck. And that's okay, I, I like stuff like that. I like stuff like this. But anyway, getting back to this. What do you think about that? Uh, maybe I better stick it up here, I guess. Anyway, I'll put it up here, and uh, y'all let me know which one you like the best. Nose picker. I I'm coming, trying to come up with a name, remember. 
nose picker. So this one, if I ever sold this truck, I'd have to have my tags back. I mean, somebody else can come up with another tag, what they want or whatever, but can't get rid of this one either because Tim Dixon gave it to me, kind of special to me. So uh, let me put this on. We'll see what we got, okay? Hang in there, guys. Okay, what do you think, guys? Below the bumper? Or on, you know, sitting on the bumper up high? I always like things sitting low just because it makes it look lower, you know? I had this one sitting low on my GMC. I, I, as you can tell by the screws, had it sitting down there like that. And of course this one too, because this is missing a hole. I like both of these tags too, so I don't know. But what do you think about the name, uh, like I was telling you earlier, what do you think about Nose Picker? I just got that up there with some uh, painter's tape. Just temporarily, you know. Maybe I could ride it in. You know, pull this. It's still got the plastic on it. But pull the, take the plastic off and, uh, you know, maybe ride it in with some paint. Nose picker. I don't know. Cotton picker. Banjo picker. You know, like I said, picker, picker, whatever. I don't know. Oh, here's the back. Finally got it done. I don't know, sometimes I have a hard time finding screws and stuff like that. What do you think? You can kind of see it says joint. And it does look like a 66 now, doesn't it? If I can get this phone to cooperate, I'll show you. Come on, buddy. Pretty close. Pretty close. Anyway, I think it goes good with the truck. I tried to find the roughest license plate lens I, uh, uh, bracket I had to try to reinforce this license plate. It is kind of flimsy. So I thought I better get something kind of brace it up there a little bit just, just because. But uh, I think the old truck's coming along pretty good. There's still a lot to do. I was going to do some more painting, but man, I tell you what, it's got windy again. So, uh, guess I'll uh, start putting up some of this stuff and uh, get into something else, I guess. But uh, if you're new to the channel, it's a it's a '66 Chevy truck sitting on a '72. C10 truck frame. I got disc brakes, got power steering. It's a pretty nice old truck for, for what it is, an old piece together truck. I still got to put my own patina on it. And uh, I showed my wife uh, the video where I painted the top, and she, she likes it. I'll have to kind of scuff down through here some where it looks like, uh, you know, the you know it's been on the, that the paint's been on here for a long time or, or maybe original to the truck remember i painted brown up through here spray painted brown before i painted the white and uh you know there's still a lot to do to it but it, it's coming along I, i'll have to go uh i don't know i was thinking about that i i guess i'll have to go panel by panel you know this this fender and you know, then this part, you know, just keep on and on till I get the whole thing done the way I want it. You know, all these, all these little places. I don't know if I'm gonna make all these little places stand out or not. Sorry, my hands are dirty. You know, maybe some of them, not every one, not every one of these. You know, maybe just touch it with a little brown like I showed you on the license plate with a Q-tip and some brown paint. Just kind of hit it a few places. See, like this right here is perfect. You can even see some of the red where this bed was painted red. But yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? And I, and I didn't do that, so I don't remember how that happened. But it, in any case, it looked great. 
not one on the other side but anyway uh i'll close the video out i thank you for watching i've been making my videos too long and uh i thank you for watching let me know what you think about this old 66 chevy truck i guess for the moment until y'all till we come up with a name uh I, i'm just going to call it nose picker because that, that's what's on the tag nose picker what do you think about this 66 chevy truck goes by the name of nose picker for now so i have something to think about anyway i hope y'all enjoyed the video um uh, thank you for watching and man those two bolts i like to never got them out of the bumper and uh man it was it's a struggle it's getting late in the day and or not late in the day but it's it's getting time has flown by because i was having trouble getting those two bolts off but y'all have a great day god bless y'all thank you for watching my name is jimmy and you're watching primer is best if you'd like and subscribe boy i sure would appreciate it and uh i thank you for watching the videos and uh, also i got a second youtube channel called man on a budget i'm on instagram man on a budget one oh yeah and primer is best i'm on facebook primer is best and instagram primer is best i sure would appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe let me know what you think about a name for the truck i'm kind of getting kind of getting to that point i ain't got my patina on it yet but i don't know i'm just trying to come up with a name first thing that popped in my not my mind excuse me was nose picker I've just never heard that before. If you like it, let me know. If you don't, uh, we'll come up with something else. But uh, uh, I think it'll be okay. I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with something different. I've had so many trucks with, with uh, different names. It's getting kind of, you know, I just try to be a little bit different than anybody else. So y'all have a blessed day. The Lord is good. The Lord is great. And it's a beautiful day here in East Tennessee. I mean, it's, it's very, very comfortable out here. And uh, hope y'all's having a blessed day. And uh, I thank you for watching. God bless y'all. And uh, please help all those in need. And if you can, help somebody here, there, and everywhere, wherever you can. A little bit goes a long way, doesn't it? I thank y'all for watching, guys. I'll catch y'all on the next one. And I'll see y'all later, okay? You won't miss nothing if you like and subscribe. And please give me that thumbs up. It sure would help my channel to grow. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll play with this some more, I guess. Catch y'all in the next one. I'll see y'all later.